My name is Eric Austin. I am the founder of My Storage, Vietnam's first full-service mini storage facility. So I stumbled onto self-storage here in Vietnam based on personal experience. I was moving here about two years ago and I needed to store a few boxes and suitcases, those types of things for about a month. I asked around and I just got blank stares. No one even knew what storage was. So that was really the light bulb moment and I decided to do some research. So I looked around, I wanted to see the self-storage industry globally and it turns out that it's really very closely associated with economic development. Some countries, Australia, the United States, everyone knows self-storage. If you go to Europe, most people know it by now. But if you come to this part of the world, Southeast Asia, it's really pretty much unknown at this point in time, particularly here in Vietnam. And that's also what makes Vietnam so exciting because of these factors, because of this close relationship to economic growth. If you look at things like GDP, urbanization rates, GDP per capita, and so on, Vietnam is really up there, and that's why storage is going to be coming here. If you look at some of the numbers, 6.5% GDP growth last year, and then the population, 96 million people here, very young, it's forecast to grow to like 120 million in the next 20 years. So if you look at all of these things, there's no doubt about it, Vietnam is the perfect place for storage in the future. So traditional self-storage, the storage that most people know, is where you just go, you rent a locker, you put your stuff in there, done. But there's a new type of storage on the scene, it's called concierge or full service. And what that is, is basically storage with transportation, and my storage offers both types. The beautiful thing about concierge or full service storage is that we take away that pain point. The pain point is the transportation part. You can sit at home, you can go onto the My Storage website, you can book how much space you need, when you'd like to pick up. We'll be there, we'll pick it all up, we bring it to our facility, and then we'll deliver it back to you when we want. Really two types of customers. The type who says, here's my stuff, I'll see you in six months. The other type, I need access to my things frequently, so we solve both of those problems. We're still figuring out who wants what here in Vietnam, but that's exciting and part of the fun of building up this business here. So we've found that uh, storage is really a universal need. There's something called the four D's of storage, death, divorce, dislocation, i.e. moving or downsizing. And in Vietnam, there are also some unique circumstances. The urbanization rate, people are moving into the city, into small apartments, so they buy more stuff and they need storage. And there's a vast e-commerce ecosystem here. People are selling things online. The stuff they sell online is sitting in their apartments. We can offer storage for all the things that people are selling online here. So there are really three areas that you need to focus on when you come to a country like Vietnam. Number one, it's pretty obvious. What's the legal framework, the competition, what sort of that landscape look like? You just really want to research that well and make things you do properly and know who else is playing the game. The second thing you have to look at is the customers here. Not every culture is different. In Vietnam, there's some things that people just do differently. One example, they like to pick up the phone when they get in touch with my storage. They don't necessarily send you an email or WhatsApp. They're also very focused on security. Because storage is new in this country, they're very, very cautious and they want to make sure their items are in good hands. So you want to show them our security camera, you want to show them the fingerprint meter, give them confidence. And the last and probably the most important thing to remember, be patient. We have to educate the consumer here. They don't know storage yet, so it's going to take some time to show them what we have in our offering and the solutions we bring. The future of my storage looks super exciting. After six months in business, we're already 80% full. We're already looking for a new facility or a place to build a new facility. And what's super appealing about that as well is it's very, very scalable. We don't have to duplicate everything. We have a team, we have a website, we have marketing materials, we have a van. So now we just need a new building. We're going to fill that up and then we start moving to new cities and expand to the entirety of Vietnam.